Hey, in this video, I'm going to answer four questions about the book that I just recently announced a couple videos back called Production Point, How to Plan and Finish Your Game. So the four questions are, what is this book? Who is this book for? What exactly is going to be in this book? And you can see I've got an outline right here so we can look briefly at what's going to be in it and what this book isn't. So let's start off with what this book is. Production Point is a step-by-step -step guide that is going to t help you plan your game, prototype your game, transition to production to make the content, and then f release your game. So we're going to cover all of those, all of that process in the book. This book is for solo game developers or very small teams who have never shipped a project before. So if you have shipped a project before, you might find this book helpful, but you're not my target audience. So I've shipped two small games and I would like to help other developers get to that point where they can ship small games as well. I've struggled my I've struggled throughout my game dev journey to actually finish and ship games and I feel like it was because of the process that I used, the lack of planning and over the years, I found things that have helped me get to that point where I'm confident in my ability to plan and ship games, and I'd like to share that information with you. However, I'm not a big famous indie developer with a large uh, success, successful title. So if you're looking for a book um, that, is, that is maybe not necessarily about the process, but is uh, kind of a story that describes uh, what it looked like for a more famous game developer, I would check out Spelunky by Derek Yu. It's a great book, highly recommend it. So third question, what is in this book? So we're gonna have a brief introdu introduction, we'll talk, which we'll talk about how I got started in game dev and what, I, what success looks like to me and potentially what success looks like to you. In chapter one, we're going to introduce uh, the gold mine analogy, which will which will help explain the explore exploit trade-off and the explore exploit trade-off describes the two phases of game development which is pre-production what i previously called prototyping and production and we're going to talk about what it looks like to be stuck in those or stuck in both and how we can define clear lines between those two phases in order to help us uh, prevent getting stuck and to enjoy the process more. And we'll have a whole chapter on that, chapter two, which where we'll briefly contrast what pre-production looks like, what production looks like, and bring them together, and how we'll transition from pre-production to production, that's called the production point, and then the exceptions to those clear lines because the world isn't black and white, and there's always exceptions. So we'll, we'll briefly talk about some of those exceptions, and then we'll move on to describe uh, pre-production, production point, which is the transition point, and production in more detail. That will be chapters three, four, and five. Now, if we're looking at pre-production and production together, they're actually going to cover chapters three and five. They're actually going to cover a lot of the same topics, traps to avoid, planning, how to scope, what kind of mentality you should have, how you should get, how you should be getting feedback, what progress looks like. Um, but because they're different phases, they're going to be covering those topics in different ways. So planning in pre-production is going to look very different from planning during production. And so we're going to cover that. Also, we'll briefly talk about, uh, you know, what it's like to lose your motivation, potentially why you could be lo losing motivation during pre-production. And then in production, we're going to talk about burnout and monotony, because that is a common issue that can come up during production. For chapter four, which is going to be our transition chapter from pre-production to production, uh, we'll talk about how you can know when you're ready to transition from one to the other, some, uh, some traps to avoid while you're transitioning, some things that you might have to do in order to be ready for production, and then crowdfunding, because that's a great point to um, or that's a great point in development to look into potentially crowdfunding your project or maybe even going to publishers because your project is in a state where it looks really good and it's super fun, but you're just lacking content and that's where production comes in. And we'll have chapter six, which will be um, a little bit of a shorter chapter, but we'll be talking about shipping it 
uh, because this book isn't focusing on marketing your game it's just focused on making a good game finishing it and then shipping it we're not going to be going over a lot of stuff during ship during the ship it chapter although we will cover some of the basics and i'll help you um, with kind of the lessons that i've learned uh, while shipping my own titles okay and you know we'll talk about supporting your player base too because that's that's really important and kind of like looking into lessons that you've learned during this whole process I'll have a brief conclusion where i talk about um finishing games how how much of an accomplishment that is and and digging a little deeper into our motive my specifically my motivations for making games and potentially what your motivations for making games could be and how that can help you enjoy the process more and find areas that you can you can improve your own process so what this book isn't this book is not going to teach you how to program so uh, i'm not going to cover engines like game maker godot or unity unreal i'm not going to cover programming language stuff even though my youtube channel primarily talks about programming in godot and tutorials for that it's not going to be a programming book the book isn't about game design but if you follow the steps you're probably going to end up with a well-designed game at the end and it's just because you're, during the pre-production phase you're going to explore a lot um, different prototypes and you're going to be getting feedback on those so you're probably going to stumble onto one that's pretty good and even even though the book doesn't focus on game design you'll probably have a good game the book's not going to go into specifics about publishing on platforms like steam gog epic consoles in particular i'm trying to write a book that is not going to be dated which i know is really difficult in today's day and age but i'm trying to avoid things that could potentially go out of date quickly and those those things change a lot so we're not going to be talking about those and it's also not going to cover the legalities or business side of making games if you want a starting point for that i highly recommend game dev by vlad marhulitz i'm not sure that's how to pronounce it so forgive me if that's wrong but um, it's a great book, and while it doesn't go into the exact specifics of all of that, it gives you a really good um, direction. It points you in the right direction um, and, and tells you pretty much where you can go to find the exact specifics that you need. At least that was my, my takeaway from the book, and it was a great book. Highly recommend it. So, yeah, that's what, those are the four question at, questions answered. Hopefully you found this video helpful to you in making a decision whether or not this book sounds like it's for you and something that you're interested in. I'll leave a pinned comment down in, down in the comment section where you can sign up to be part of the exclusive early bird discount if you're interested in supporting this book on the Indiegogo campaign which will launch later this month. Then you can sign up with that link and get an early bird discount. If you have any questions for me about what's going to be in the book, maybe you saw something here in the outline you'd like me to go into more detail about kind of what that's going to talk about, let me know in the comments below. You can also suggest uh, a topic if you think that I'm missing something. So if you think that I forgot about something that's really important, let me know in the comments below. I will see if it feels like it fits into my book, and if it does, I'll add it. So. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will talk to you all later.